know that does that same thing. If your bait's at four feet and you cast into three feet of water, it's, it basically thinks you cast it out. Not sure. You've seen it do that. <laughs> uh oh. This one's taking out some line. And another gold pike. Oh, shoot. Oh, there you go. There we go. Diamond 26 pound, 26.05 pound diamond pike. Tactical wet wipe. Were you making sure I don't suck before you followed? Is that what it was? This guy caught a diamond. You don't know how lucky I just got, dude. <laughs> nice. Congrats. Thanks so much. Let's see what we've got here, guys. Oh, looks like we've got ourselves a northern pike 49.9 degrees. Welcome back to the channel, everyone. My name is Darth Sloan, your official partnered content creator for Expansive Worlds. And you just saw me catch, before this one, a diamond northern pike. And it was right in this same location where we just caught this silver. Just wanted to test a little something. It's three o'clock in the morning and I pretty much think you can fish here for most of the day. We got the temperatures, 49.9, sitting right here at nighttime now. I think midday on, maybe even early morning. I'm not sure there are a lot. Let's take a look at this. There are a lot of different depths of water that you could fish here. As you see right here, we could cast out this way, get a little cooler, get a little warmer here, get on over here and get even warmer. So this, the way this is laid out and may, and also this is another good little spot over here that you can catch them at. So, but I've caught a diamond muskie and a diamond pike right here. So with number three swim bait, if you want to put that on, before we go any further into it, guys, please do me a favor. Hit that like, subscribe, and notify bell. Consider becoming a member and get the power to change my wig, baby. Um, the $4.99 tier and up can change my wig. Let me put a wig on. $3.99 tier is pretty good, too. You get those emotes, get the early access videos. But anyway, guys, enough of that. Let's talk about how we're going to get yourself a diamond pack. All right, guys, let's open up the top five leaderboards. We are looking at Golden Ridge Reserve right here. They're, each map is color coded. And of course, you see the five points, four points, three points. That goes towards the anchor of the year that we can look at down here. But for the Northern Pike on Golden Ridge, it's going to take a 26 pounder to get onto the top five leaderboards. As you see here, the smallest one, 26.05. The top one, Blaine the Pain, 26.26, guys. So it's going to, that's what it's going to take. So you guys are going to have to do some work. Get on it later board. The temperature is 48.10 to 53.4. So at the one that we caught right before, it fell right in there at 49.9, I think. That's the temperatures you're looking for. And it's pretty much good for most of the day, especially if you use the depth of the water to cast into, uh, you should get those hook sizes. Now I am using the number three swim bait, which is a silver hook. And as you see here, bronze hooks five and four. And then we also have the gold hook at two and one. And the diamond hook, one alt through four alt. You can catch some big diamonds. I didn't realize they went all the way up to four alt. That is huge. But anyway, guys, let's look at where else you can catch a diamond pike. All right, guys, as you see here in the official angler discord, when you pull up this help sheet for Golden Ridge, there's Northern Pike right there. You just click on it, it takes you to it. And it looks like there's 10 different spots here that you can catch a diamond pike. We are currently at spot number four, and then spot number seven is also good. So we are right through here. You just summon you a Jeep and go down through here, get you a boat, come over here. Now, here's something interesting that I want to ask you guys. And you guys let me know in the comments. Over on Trosport, we go to Pike Dock and we've been using that number three shad twitching. So it's a jigging setup, but you twitch with it. 
Um, and that's what they go crazy for over there. I have never tried that over here on Golden Ridge. So dad's a psycho, R. Lewis, anyone else. If you've tried that technique over on Norway, does it work over here? I've, you know, I've never thought to try it over here. I've always had my luck with the swim bait. So I guess it's one of those deals where if it's not broke, you don't try to fix it maybe. So maybe that's it, you know, um, just let me know in the comments, guys, if you've had any luck with the shad, number three shad twitching um, over here on Golden Ridge. Now, the fish don't get as big over here on Golden Ridge. The northern pike don't. Uh, they they get really big over on the way out. I'm close to 50 pounds. Here, 26 pounds is a big one, so I guess it just has to do with the, the area that um, the environment and stuff that affects that. All right, guys, if you look right here, my biggest is 26.05. As you saw there on the leaderboards, I'm barely hanging on that fifth spot. Uh, so I'm sure to be knocked off soon. But anyway, let's look. Jerk bait, swim bait, which is what we're using. I don't know. I've always just had better luck with that number three swim bait. Spinner bait. Then we look over here. Shad, fourth on that list. So again, let me know. Is that something that they like to go after? Minnow, they will eat you know burn a minnow up if you get tired of bait fishing if you like you know sometimes if i'm just like reading up on stuff on another screen or something i like to float fish and uh, put a bigger hook on there so i can read a little bit and then if i do get about it something good you know that's something you can do grub spoon popper frog white wafters um crank bait spinner you know and they do fight nothing fights stronger than a, a, a silver pipe but i'll tell you a little little secret somebody told me was like when you get a bite if it pulls immediately left it's pike if it's not pulling you left it's not a pike <laughs> so that's how you can that's how you can tell on it and you know it's true you know they they pull left those pike do all right guys that's going to do it for me please do me a favor hit that like subscribe and notify bell if you haven't yet let's get as many as we can involved this top five has really taken off guys and this angler of the year is so fun. Speaking of, where are we standing at now? Let's look. I am in sixth place, barely hanging on in sixth place. 52, I'm 20 points behind a spider, so I gotta get on it here. But anyway, guys, it's tough to juggle work and, and everything and have time. You know, sometimes I'm lucky if I get two hours to play in a day, sometimes I don't get to play at all, but summer break is coming guys i'm gonna be hitting these hard but we also got the hunter coming out for the new map so i'm gonna have to divide my time anyway guys get involved look at the submissions you know look at the leaderboard first before you submit make sure it is bigger if it's not 26.05 um, if it's not bigger than that then there's no point in submitting it but do put it in fishing trophies channel you know so we can look at them there my name is Darth Sloan. Thank you guys so much for watching and let me know in the comments if there's anything else you would like to see me make a video on. You guys have an awesome, awesome weekend.